Nagaland, along with the rest of the northeastern states, will continue to see enhanced rainfall activity over the next four days. Guwahati based Regional Meteorological Center issues orange alert in Assam and Meghalaya, as well as in Arunachal Pradesh, while yellow watch in Nagaland, Manipur, Mizoram, and Tripura. Nagaland's Maranzungba Longkumar brings home the title of Mr. India International World Heritage 2022 during an event held in Mumbai. Notably, Longkumar, who falls from Yango Yimsang village of Mokokchungol, set to represent India in Mr. World Heritage in June 26 of this year. Manik Saha on Sunday takes oath as the 11th Chief Minister of Tripura at Raj Bhawan in Agartala. Saha chosen to be the Chief Minister hours after Biblab Kumar step steps down from the post just a year after Assembly elections. With heavy rainfall continuing in Meghalaya, death toll increases to three as one more person drowns in a swollen river in the East Kasi Hills district. Incident takes place as the, as the deceased who along with another person went for fishing gets washed ashore downstream. Acknowledging the concerned connection with the people being broken, Congress leader Rahul Gandhi announced his party will undertake a yatra in October to re-establish and re-strengthen it, says Gandhi. Parties accept the reality and work hard among the people to reconnect. Hello and welcome to NLTV Primetime. I'm Johanna Murin. Now let's have a look at the news in details. The Regional Med Center in Guwahati of the Indian Meteorological Department on Saturday predicted that Nagaland along with the rest of the northeastern states will continue to see enhanced rainfall activity over the next four days. Notably, the Regional Met Center issued orange alert on Sunday and Monday in Assam and Meghalaya as well as in Arunachal Pradesh on Sunday. Meanwhile, the center also issued a yellow watch in Nagaland, Mizoram, Manipur and Tripura. Furthermore, the center said widespread rainfall accompanied with thunderstorm, lightning and heavy to very heavy rainfall with extremely heavy rainfall at isolated places very likely over Meghalaya during May 14 to 18. Nagaland on Saturday registered one fresh of COVID-19, taking the total tally to 35,493. According to officials, the new case was registered in Dimapur. Meanwhile, the death toll remained unchanged at 760 as no fresh fatality was reported. It is to be mentioned that the state now has two active COVID-19 cases while 33,245 people have recovered from the disease. It is to be mentioned that COVID-19 recovery rate in the state now stands at 93.66%. Power Department Junior Engineer Service Association is set to resort to democratic forms of protest from May 19 to express resentment against the lack of career progression. Notably, members of the PDJESA will be wearing black batches for three days starting from May 19 and will be followed by casually for another three days. The association remarked that the Group B cadre of engineers were deprived of timely promotion to the post of subdivisional officers and further added that some members have retired without a single promotion and more members are all in line. Notably, the association submitted a representation to the government on August 19, 2019, stating their grievances and had written repeated reminders. However, the government failed to take any positive steps till date upon which the association has called for protest and further regretted the inconvenience that may be caused to the public during the process of education. <music> Good
Grassroots Football Festival Baby League was introduced on Saturday at Indira Gandhi Stadium, Kohima. The Department of Youth Resource and Sports, in effort to nurture young talents, introduced for festival for in the first time in Nagaland. Notably, altogether 120 participants, which included 85 boys and 35 girls, all below 12 years of age, took part in the event. Upon which three state football three state football coaches from the department mentored the young budding talents. Manik Saha on Sunday took the oath as the 11th Chief Minister of Tripura at the Raj Pawan in Agartala. Notably, the swearing-in ceremony of the Council of Members took place at around 11.30 a.m. It is to be mentioned that Saha was chosen to be the Chief Minister of Tripura on Saturday, hours after Biblab Kumar Deb resigned from the top post just a year before the Assembly elections. It may also be mentioned that Saha is currently a Rajya Sabha MP from Tripura and is also the president of the state's Bharatiya Janta Party unit. Meanwhile, it can, it can also be mentioned that by profession he is also a dentist. Just say that the Bharatiya Janta Party and our Prime Minister Narendra Modi Ji have the issue of development and development. और जहाँ तक लॉ इन ऑर्डर है वो और अच्छा करेंगे बस वही करेंगे बस बस और नहीं कोई चैलेंज नहीं कोई चैलेंज नहीं कोई चैलेंज नहीं कोई चैलेंज नहीं त्रिपुरा बासी के लिए काम करेंगे उनका जो जो प्रॉब्लम है उसको किसी तरह जैसे हम कोशिश करेंगे सबके साथ बात करके उनका अच्छा हो मोदी जी का जो सपना है एक त्रिपुरा श्रेष्ठ त्रिपुरा एक भारत श्रेष्ठ भारत वो करेंगे सीएमसी कह रहे हैं कि 10 महीने के बाद चुनाव है आपके लिए कोई चैलेंज नहीं है कोई चैलेंज नहीं है हमें श्री मानिक शाह भगवान के नामे जीरो विश्वास से सुई सपोर्ट करी थी चीजें आई न तो प्रतिष्ठित हो भारतीय और संविधान के प्रति जीरो वो अखंडता रखा करीबो, आमी त्रिपुरा जेल मुख्यमंत्री इशारे, हमार कुर्तबो विश्वस्त भावे, वो विवेक परानेता सहस्वी संपन्न करीबो, एवं भारतीय संविधान उम्जे भय, उनुग्रहो, प्रीति, वो विदेश मुक्तो, थकिया स्वर्गस्त्रीनी लोकेर प्रति न्याय आचन करीबो, आमी श्रीमानिक शाह भगवान के नामे जीरो विश्वास से सुई स्वपत करी थे चीजे त्रिपुरा राज्य के मुख्यमंत्री इशाबे अमान निकोट जे विषय विवेचना जुन्नो उपस्थापित हो करा हुई थे। Chief Minister of Nagaland Nipirio on his Twitter handle in congratulated the new Chief Minister of Tripura, Dr. Manik Saha, as Saha takes oath. CM Rio extended his best wishes as he will be taking up new responsibilities and wished him luck for all his future endeavors. Prime Minister Narendra Modi also took down the Twitter and congratulated Saha and conveyed him very best for his fruitful tenure. PM also stated that he is confident Saha will add vigor to the development of Tripura, which began in 2018. Deputy CMY Patan also congratulated Saha and wished him best of luck for his turn. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Sunday congratulated Manik Saha on taking oath as the new Chief Minister of Tripura. Modi, while taking down to Twitter, expressed his best wishes and a fruitful tenure and also mentioned that he is confident about Saha that he will add vigour to the development of journey to Tripura which began in 2018. Notably, Manik Saha on Sunday took oath as the 11th Chief Minister of Tripura at the Raj Pawan in Akartala after Biblab Kumar Deb resigned from the top post on Saturday. A proud moment for Nagaland as Muran Zungba Longkumar brings home the title of Mr. International World Heritage 2022 during an event held in Mumbai on Friday. 
notably Nongkumar hails from Yang Yumsen village of Mokokchung district while he lives in Chumbukedima. It is to be mentioned that Longkumar is all set to represent India in Mr. World Heritage, which is scheduled to be held on June 26, 2022. Court for Judicial Magistrate First Class Kohima Julian Sitol Hu convicted and sentenced accused Lotio Kire and Kelhuo meet as one year each of the rigorous imprisonment under Section 392-34 IPC. While delivering the judgment, it has been stated that the duo stole five lakh cash from a Bolero in September 20, 2021. The judicial magistrate from the first class Kohima Julian declined to extend benefits to a probation of the offenders act since the crime was committed at a main town in a broad daylight and also extended the benefits of probation to offenders act will only encourage and give courage to the offender to commit more crimes in the future. It was also stated that the accused pre-planned the matter and committed the crime to which the sentence should impose probation to the gravity to the offence in order to stop them from further committing such acts. Rahul Gandhi on Sunday announced that the Congress party will undertake a yatra in October to re-establish and strengthen, uh, strengthen it, addressing the closing ceremony of the party's three-day Nav Sanklap Chintan Shivrir. Rahul accepted the fact that Congress' connection with the people has been broken, but said that the party would work hard among the people to reconnect it. He further said that, a peop that the people know that it is the Congress that can lead the nation ahead, while he asserted that there is no shortcut to reconnecting with the people and the party will have to swear it out. Meanwhile, he assured party members that he will himself fight against the BJP along with them. The Congress party ka connection जनता से टूटा है उसको हमें एक्सेप्ट करना पड़ेगा उस कनेक्शन को हमें फिर से बनाना पड़ेगा और जनता चाहती है जनता समझती है कि कांग्रेस पार्टी ही यह काम कर सकती है जनता समझती है कि कांग्रेस पार्टी ही देश को देश को आगे, आगे ले जा सकती है कि कांग्रेस पार्टी ने निर्णय लिया है अक्टूबर ने में निर्णय लिया है कि पूरी की पूरी कांग्रेस पार्टी With the heavy rainfall continuing in Meghalaya, the death toll has increased to three as one more person drowns in a swollen river in the East Kasi Hills district. The incident reportedly took place when two persons from Meubere village went fishing and were reported to one to be missing. And one was found dead after getting washed ashore downstream, whereas another one is still missing. A search and rescue operation has been initiated. Among the three, one dead in East Kasi Hills and the other one in Reboy District on Friday. Due to rainfall, landslide has also been reported in various places, causing traffic disruptions in many areas and most rivers cross their danger mark. Union Home Minister Amit Shah on Saturday attacked Telangana Chief Minister K. Chandra Shekhar Rao, saying he wants to turn the state into West Bengal, while addressing a public meeting on the concluding day of the month-long Praja Sangram Yatra Phase 2 in Telangana. Shah said Telangana CM KCR wants the turn of the state into Bengal and that it has to be stopped. He also said that BJP will make sure that the killers of BJP workers Sai Ganesh are if given the harshest punishment. Furthermore, Shah also stated that the symbol of the TRS party is a car and that the steering wheel of a car is always in the hands of the owner of the driver, but the steering wheel of the TRS car is with All India Majlis E. Idhadul Muslims Chief Asauddin Owasi. Hatya 
क्या हो रही है मुझे बताओ भाइयों बहनों माताओं युवाओं आप इससे सहमत हो क्या जोर से बोलो सहमत हो क्या ये चंद्रशेखर राव तेलंगाना को बंगाल बनाना चाहता है आप बनाने दोगे क्या बनाने दोगे क्या भाइयों बहनों उनको रोकना पड़ेगा मैं आज भारतीय जनता पार्टी के सब कार्यकर्ता Prime Minister Narendra Modi is all set to visit Nepal on Monday for a brief visit to the Lumbini, the birthplace of Gautama Buddha. Notably, Modi is slated to deliver an address at the Buddha Jayanti celebrations organized by the Lumbini Development Trust while he is also scheduled to participate in the foundation laying ceremony for the construction of the Center for Buddhist Culture and Heritage within the Lumbini monastic zone. Furthermore, Modi will also held comprehensive talks with the Nepalese counterparts Sher Bahadur Diuba and to expand bilateral cooperations in multiple areas including in hydro project development and connectivity too according to the Nepal Prime Minister's press adviser Anil Piyari Modi will also meet the Himalayan nation at the invitation of Diuba It is to be mentioned that Modi is planning a day-long visit to Lumbani in the occasion of the Buddha Purnima. Prime Minister Narendra Modi along with President Ramnath Govind on Saturday extended greetings and best wishes to the newly appointed President of United Arab Emirates Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. Furthermore, PM Modi and President Govind taking down to Twitter expressed their confidence that under Nahyan's dynamic and visionary leadership, the comprehensive strategic partnership between the two countries will continue to deepen. Rajiv Kumar on Sunday took charge as the 25th Election Commission of India at Nirvanchan Sadan in Delhi. Notably, Election Commissioner Kumar was appointed to the post on Thursday, replacing Sushil Chandra who demitted office on May 14th. It is to be mentioned that Kumar born in 1960 is expected to demit office in February 2025. He will be overseeing the presidential and the vice presidential elections, the 2024 Lok Sabha polls and several assembly polls. The Indian men's badminton team created history by winning Thomas Cup title for the first time ever. Team India with Lakshya Sen, Kidampi Srikant and the double pair of Swastiki Swaraj, Ren Kidri Reddy and Chirag Shetty defeated powerhouse Indonesian 3-0 in final. After being off color in the knockout stages, Sen gave India a 1-0 lead with a come from behind 8-21. 21-17, 21-16 win over world number no. five Anthony Sinisuka Giting in a super show of the temperament and skills. The double pair of Swastiki Raj Rani Ke, Rani Ki Renidi and Chirak Shetty then saved four points match in the second game of eventual outwit Mohammad Asan and Kevin Sanjay Suka Muljo 18-21, 23-21, 21-19. In the second singles, Srikant outclashed Asian Games gold medalist Jonathan Christie 21-15-23-21 in 14 minutes to seal the contest and gave India a Thomas Cup gold for the first time ever. In a fateful incident, former Australian cricketer Andrew Simons died on Saturday night in a car crash. The 46-year-old cricketer was the sole passenger in the car that occurred in a crash that occurred outside Townsville, Queensland. Notably, the emergency service tried to revive him, but he stumbled to his injuries. Meanwhile, forensic crash unit is said to be investigating into this matter. Siam Mons, who is the two-time World Cup winner and was well known for his exploits in white ball cricket.
Bollywood superstar Akshay Kumar on Saturday tested positive for COVID-19, taking down to Twitter. Akshay mentioned that he will not be able to attend the Cannes Film Festival 2022 as he tested positive for the virus and mentioned that he will rest out. Notably, the actor was supposed to walk the red carpet on opening day of the 75th Cannes Film Festival as part of the Indian consignment along with Sheher Kapoor, Pooja Hegre and A.R. Rehman. The International Indian Film Academy has decided to postpone the 22nd edition of AIFA Weekend and Awards following late UAE President Sheikh Khalif bin Zayed Al Nahin's death. Notably, the award, which was earlier scheduled to take place in Abu Dhabi from May 18 to 22, will now be held from July 14 to July 15 and July 16 in Abu Dhabi. It needs to be mentioned that the IFA organizers decided to reschedule the event after the UAE Minister of Presidential Affairs announced a 40-day mourning period across the country, starting Friday. However, an official confirmation is yet to be done. Meanwhile, the official Twitter handle of IFA also mourned the death of the President of the United Arab Emirates. American singer Britney Spears had announced her miscarriage news on social media. It was only last month that the pop star revealed that she is expecting a baby with her fiancé Sam Ashari. The 40-year-old pop star took to her Instagram handle on May 14 and shared a heartbreaking post regarding the tragic development of her pregnancy. In a note signed by Britney Spears announced miscarriage with heartbreaking note that couple shared stated that they were saddened by losing the miracle baby early in the pregnancy and thanked all their fans for the immense love and support and asked for privacy during the difficult moment. The pop star has two sons, 16-year-old Sean and 15-year-old Jaden. Liverpool won an absorbing English FA Cup final on Saturday as they prevailed 6-5 against Chelsea in the penalty shootout at the Wembley. The final showpiece somehow ended 0-0 after extra time. And substitute Codesi slotted with the winning penalty after Chelsea captain Cesar Akpi Likwata hit, had hit the post and Allison saved Mason Mount's penalty. Liverpool wins the trophy for the first time since 2006. Liverpool's win means Liverpool remains on course of an unprecedented quadruple of trophies. Liverpool are the three points behind Manchester City in the Premier League phase with two games to go and meet Real Madrid in the Champions League on final on May 28. That is all for now. Thank you for tuning in and for more updates, keep watching Nagaland TV.